Good afternoon. My name is Beth Gry. I'm a librarian at the Clarkston Independence District Library. We're here this afternoon to talk to you about the Michigan Album Quilt of Authors and Illustrators. This is a one-of-a-kind quilt that was made locally by two of the patrons at our library. I'd like to introduce to you Jenny Schultz and Betsy Travis. These two ladies are responsible for our, this one-of-a-kind quilt. The project began, I believe, in the spring of 2011. Jenny, can you tell us, how did this come to be? Well, the library at that time was looking for funding and wanted to become an independent library. And I just thought we have a lot of wonderful authors and illustrators in the state of Michigan. And perhaps we could do a quilt um, to highlight those people. And so I started out, the library gave me a listing of authors and illustrators that lived in the state of Michigan or were born in Michigan. And um, I started contacting them to ask if they would like to be a part of this project. And I received back lots of answers and that they would like to be a part of it. And I asked them to either just autograph a square or if they wanted to do a line drawing or an illustration. And I took this project on knowing that I have a friend, Betsy Travis, who is a fine quilter and fabric artist, and I did not have that talent. And so from there, Betsy and I got together and the project began. I had began in the be at the inception, <clears throat> excuse me, um, as a fundraiser because the library needed money and then as time went by and the project grew <laughs> and and became more real um, it became a one of a kind that the library would like to have as as part of their history and part of the history of um, the people who have come before and written and illustrated in Michigan. And so Ginny and I went on fabric hunting for fabrics that would best suit water and rocks and forest and, and sort of the landscape and topography of our beautiful state and uh, hoped that those fabrics would work well with the authors um, their title pages and we would go from there. And indeed they do. Yes. How about we go take a look at the quilt ladies, what do you think? Well, here it is, this beautiful quilt. Um, it features some, they are all from Michigan one way or the other. Some of the authors are very prominent. Um, Elmer Leonard, Patricia Polacco, um, Devin the, Skillian. Yes, the newscaster, Devin Skillian, Detroit Tiger superstar, Kurt Gibson. Um, Mario Batali. And Mar yes, Chef Mario Batali. Yes. It's kind of an interesting, let, how does Mario Batali figure in with Michigan? Let's. <laughs> well, I know he does a lot of benevolent things in northern Michigan up in the Leelanau Peninsula and I thought, well, maybe he would help us down here in southeastern Michigan. And so I didn't have an address. I knew that he summered in Northport, Michigan. And so I wrote him a note and sent the information to him. And I simply addressed it, Mr. Mario Batali, Post Office Box, Northport, Michigan. And I didn't get a response back and I was disappointed. So our daughter called one day and she said, Mom, I have Mario Batali's address. <laughs> and Fortunately or unfortunately, he had um, been speeding in Leelanau County and the Enterprise lists everybody who gets a ticket and their address. So I wrote him another letter and that time he responded. And he sent the square back with the fabric and he signed his name and wrote on it, Spaghetti is Love. And from there, did the stitching for it. And I also wanted somebody in the car industry and I found a way to get in touch with Bob Lutz and I wanted someone in the athletic 
era and I happened to know Kurt Gibson's mother and so she was the intermediary between myself and, and Kurt so we got him and then somebody said that um, Philip Levine was Poet Laureate of the United States and I looked on my list and sure enough he was born in Detroit so I thought that was kind of interesting that was a national and then we have local ones for the history books that have been written about Clarkston and children's authors as well as authors for adults and many, many different genre of writing. Indeed. Um, let's talk a little bit about this big, beautiful square here in the middle. Now, Betsy, I believe this is your fine handiwork. Yes. Um, the detail on this square is just amazing. Um, and then she, of course, tied into things that you just think of Michigan, and you'll see them here. There's the Mackinac Bridge. We have Petoskey Stones, um, lighthouses. Is there a story about the cornflakes that you'd like to share? Yes, say? I, I just thought Kellogg's should be represented in some way, and I thought there had to be some way to get a Kellogg's cornflake uh, piece of fabric, and so I even thought about photographing it and putting it on fabric, and that was a whole bunch of trouble. And so I went online, and somebody had uh, just a, a third of a yard of fabric that had all Kellogg's cornflake images on it. And so I immediately purchased that and was able to get the Kellogg's cornflakes. And so I was happy to have that fabric. And the tulips for the Tulip Festival and and then we tried to do the, the robin for the state bird. And, um, and I love over on this, um, west end of the Upper Peninsula, she has copper for how important copper was in the, in the Michigan history and the birch bark. So there are many, many interesting things in that square. It was kind of interesting when we had all the squares together. Um, a lady who works with the Friends of the Library um, and I were talking and I said, I don't know what I'm going to do about the quilting on it because I, I'm not a quilter. And she said, well, my daughter does. So she introduced me to her daughter and she came over and I gave her a bag with all of these squares and all of the leftover material. And Ellen put it all together and did an incredible job by matching many, many of the fabrics bordering the center square and also the bottom square, which is the Michigan Authors and Illustrators Square. So we were blessed to have lots of good help to put this all together. And there are some kind of interesting stories about different authors and illustrators. And um, some of the people, we had absolutely no idea, but I wanted to represent sports and automotive and nature and all different categories of our state, culinary. Um, and so I sort of chose authors and illustrators that would represent all of these different areas. And we also wanted to do it throughout the state. And as you get up closer and look at the quilt, Betsy put little beads on the Upper Peninsula and the Lower Peninsula showing where these authors and illustrators live. The Michigan Authors and Illustrators, 41 of them represented on here. It's a work of love, it's a one-of-a-kind quilt, and we're ready to share it with the citizens of Clarkston. <music>Okay, so what are we going to do with this beautiful quilt, ladies? Well, we're going to unveil it to the public. They've been waiting a long time, and on Saturday, September 9th, we are having an open house here at the library. Um, the open house will run from 2 to 5 p.m. in the afternoon. We're really hoping that some of the authors will show up. Um, many of the authors are scattered around the country, but we definitely have some locally, and we're really hoping to get them here. Um, also, we're going to have a silent auction. We've had some gifts donated, um, books from the authors, and we're putting together at least six gift baskets that we will auction off with a, a silent auction. And, um, well, everyone loves cookies and punch and cake, so we will be serving refreshments as well. 
Thank you, ladies. Thank you for all your hard work. Oh, it's been a pleasure. It is beautiful.